This is a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and I don't think I have to remind anyone what's on the line here. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. And as we get started, let me just say that it's so great to be back in Pittsburgh, the hometown of one of the greatest of all time, Bruno San Martino. Jeez. As the action continues, let's discuss. He comes up big there. But is it enough to end it? Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Strike one, two, and three. He gets it with a reversal. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. No, he reverses it. And the elbow finds its mark. Take cover. You could call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. He might have it. I can't believe it, Michael. There's almost no defending against a move like that. And Byron, he's still down after that. Look out! He's got him now. That's what he was looking for, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen a more acrobatic finisher. The match is over. That's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Austin Crew. Who is that? Why is he out here right now? I think business is about to pick up. The Irishman has his Irish up. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Coup de gras. He's in control now. The impact of that move was well worth the risk, I'd say.